always on the lookout for large items whenever I go to the thrift store because larger items in a retail store are the things that cost so much. I was so excited to find this basket at the thrift store. It was only $5. It was in rough shape, but a basket like this at a retail store could cost upwards of $50. So I wanted to get it and recreate these black baskets that I've been seeing on Pottery Barn's website. All I did was take a can of spray paint and spray the inside. I also sprayed the outside. I let that dry and then I came back in for a second coat. These are great to add in floor plants and they really make a statement and I think this looks so great in my front room. So if you've been following me for a while, which if you haven't, thank you so much. You may remember when I picked up these stools from Habitat for Humanity for just $5 and I did this fun farmhouse design on it. Now, if you want to see this video, I'll link it for you down in the description box so you can go check out how I made these. I have to tell you, I do like changing up my decor quite a bit and I, so I was ready for a change with these stools. So I wanted to do something totally different. So I started by stripping off the paint on the stool. I grabbed a paint stripper from Walmart and the direction said to kind of paint it on and let it sit for 15 minutes. So that's exactly what I did. After 15 minutes, I came back in and scraped off the paint. Now this took off most of it, but I did have to come in and do a second coat with the stripper. So I kind of repeated that whole same process, stripping off the paint. I wiped off most of the stripper and then I came back in with mineral spirits just to kind of get all of the gunky stuff off of it. Now this removed most of the paint, but I still had some more paint and some more finish on there. So I went in with my orbital sander and sanded it completely. Now I wanted the top of these stools just to have a really natural finish, so I didn't add anything additional to them. With the legs, I came in with a chalk paint because again, chalk paint just holds really well. These stools get a ton of wear and tear from my kids. So I'm gonna be using two coats of a bare chalk paint on these stools, making sure that I coat them really well. Now, after the paint had a chance to dry, I came back in with my water-based sealer and did a sealer coat on the entire stool. The only cost I had was to remove the paint as well as the paint that I used for these, and I think it gives a whole new look to my kitchen. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.